back with Coach Powers. Now we're talking uh, a lot of good things about this program, but one of the things is the uh, eight players that you sent to NHL development camp, some that were guys that were here, some that were guys that are coming in, and some are guys that were kind of unexpected in a guy like Steen Pashnik. But, Coach, tell me a little bit about that and what you uh, thought of the guys that were able to go do that. You know, I mean, it, it, you never know. You never know who, who's going to get invited and and all that stuff. Um, but, but, yeah, we had a, we had a, a couple guys that, that earned invites. Um, Steen, obviously, in San Jose, and he had a really good development camp. We got really good feedback on, on how he looked and what he did up there. Um, Phil Bunces went to Colorado and, and uh, did really well for himself, you know, and, and every, every, we got good feedback on everybody. Um, I think most most notably was probably Demetrius. Right. Um, I mean, you, you, I've been told by a lot of people that are up there that he literally looked like the best player at their development camp. So um, he, he, people have to remember with, with, with Como, I mean, he came in as an 18-year-old, true freshman, <laughs> yeah. straight out of high school hockey. It, it, it was going to take some time. You know, he wasn't going to be a well-oiled, you know, machine and, and, and in a tough uh, setting like that. And, and he had great moments. You know, there's not many kids that could do what he did um, with the opportunity that was put on his plate and handled it the way he handled it. And he's such a hungry, motivated kid. And to go have a camp like he had up in Calgary, and now he gets to go to the World Junior um, tryout camp, one of the 44 players selected for that. Um, his confidence is going to be sky high, as it should be, because he's a, he's a special player, and I expect you know big things out of him this year. Okay, so you got a bunch of guys. Austin Lemieux get, went back to uh, Pittsburgh, and of course Brinson went to San Jose as well. And uh, one of the guys that shocked me on uh, social media was Josh Maniscalco. People were going like, "Did you guys see that shot of Josh Maniscalco on that scrimmage?" And I'm going like, "Yeah, you know, I sit in the press box. I've seen that shot a few times. That didn't surprise you, did it?" He's, he's, Manny's, <laughs> Manny, I thought Manny was the best freshman defenseman in the country last year. I mean, our old staff did, but um, he, he's a special player. He, he, he's a special kid. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, his, his trajectory is, is, um, I think very uh, positive. Um, he's only going to continue to get better, and, and we're going to be lucky to hang on to him for four years. Okay, so you got guys going to camps, you got guys coming in, you got all kinds of action going on, but a couple of steadying things that always seem to come up is that uh, Johnny Walker at Columbus was steady, uh, Brinson at, at San Jose was steady. Um, how much do those guys mean, and how much do those camps mean to your program this fall? Yeah, I don't know. You know, I mean, I, I, you got to take them for what they are. You know, I mean, they're they're. I think the NHL teams do a good job of making them actual development camps, teaching kids what it's going to be like and what they need to do to become a pro and live like a pro. Um, so it's good from that standpoint. Hopefully it develops our guys' confidence. I thought we had a few guys that should have been in them that weren't at them. Um, but again, it, you can't get too, too caught up in, in what they mean um, sitting in my chair. Again, because, because I believe we had a handful of guys that – deserve to be at them that weren't. So you don't want to make too much out of them because you're always going to feel as a coach that you have some yeah. guys get slighted, right? So, um, you know, it, 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 the guys have to use them to their advantage. And, and I think it, the guys that do go, they probably train a little harder in the off season to make sure that they're in shape when they go and they look good and they're putting in the work they need to, to make a good impression. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, one player to 12 players, whatever it is, um, we can't let it affect uh, our approach with our guys. Either way, though, I'm sure it doesn't hurt to give them some more ice time somewhere and, and give them a chance to, uh, to skate with some competition that's... Yeah, no, it's good. I think the biggest advantage is just the focus standpoint. It focuses yeah. them to, to train harder and, and come in that much more prepared. All right, I understand you have a, uh, a, new, a new guy that you signed this summer in the, uh, in the training room or in the, the equipment room with... Uh, with Al, the uh, the Labrador that John John Lofner has got, so how important of a role is is Al going to play this year? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll find out. You know, I was just at the rink yesterday, and and uh, you know, he's he's going to be a breath of fresh air. Um, he's a lot more fun to deal with than John. I can tell you that much. <laughs> well, Coach, let's take another quick break. Let's come back and talk about the things that are on the horizon here in the very near future. 